Hello, I'm a frog that has an apple in my hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys, um, welcome to Super Cat Theaters. Uh, you know, let's play. So while I was cutting down trees, I was getting an apple. I got an apple anyway. We gotta get right down to business because I want to try to fit building the whole mob spawner into one episode. So it's gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial right here. So um, yeah, let's get down to it. Uh, step one, get the required items. So the required items are I recommend four buckets of water. We got right here um, some cobblestone. Doesn't necessarily have to be cobblestone. It could be really any building material that defies the laws of gravity, which means no sand or coal. Not coal. No sand or, or um, gravel. Uh, you gotta have a good amount of torches, which we have. Some ladders. You only need like four or six. Uh, the mob spawner, obviously, which we have right there. Um, glass. We have twenty one glass right here. And uh, it is optional, but you might want to bring a furnace, a chest, and a crafting table along for um, things I will show you guys later. Um, so, that's uh, step one. Step two is to run in here, and uh, once you find your spawner, you want to deactivate it by... Uh, I usually put a torch around, put a torch on every wall, and then put a torch on top of it to make sure no mobs spawn. So, uh, that's step two. Step three is to make sure your room here, your, uh, your dungeon... Is a five by five. So we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is probably the largest type of dungeon you could get, a seven by seven. So uh, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to block it off so that is on, it is only a five by five dungeon. So uh, to do this. You're gonna need to, uh, well, we're gonna need to, if we want it to be equal, we're gonna have to take one off each side, because, uh, one plus one is two, and, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just kinda trying to rush by right here. I wanna, um, oh, okay. I wanna get this, uh, see if we can get this done in one episode. So, um, next episode we can get back to building the house. All right, so that's that. All right, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we want to wall it off again here. No, we don't want you. Oh, we're going to run out of cobblestone already. That's a big fail. Oh, God, I got to stop misplacing blocks. We got to go. This is go time right now. Dang it. Do we got... Oh, God. God, God. All right. Pause the video. I'm going to pause the video real quick and uh, go get more cobblestone. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. All right. Let's get down to it. Found some redstone down there. And, oh, my God. I got an itchy head. Ow, 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 ow. Why is it so itchy? Ah, oh, dang itches. All right. So, um, yeah, we got it. 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 I got another 60. Oh, no, no, no. I got another 64 of cobblestone. Hopefully, that will, uh... There you go. Hopefully that'll allow us to um get done with this. So we just need to wall up this wall. And I'm pretty sure we will have a nice 5x5 five five room. And uh, once again, I adjusted my mic. Hopefully this one is, um, this spot is good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so we got our 5x5 five five room now. So the next step is to make sure th these spawners, the any type of spawner can uh, shoot a zombie or whatever monster it is into um within eight within eight blocks of an area so um no you're not going to sharpen a pencil while i'm doing your commentary I'm taking a picture. hurry up um <laughs> um so they can shoot a zombie into uh, an area within eight blocks you have to make uh make sure just uh any area, open area within eight blocks is either blocked off or is lit up pretty well. And uh, I already checked that before the video, so I wouldn't waste time. So um, that one's all good. All right. So the next step is now you're we're actually gonna get down to the manual labor. So uh, Matt, close the door. Thank you. So now you wanna um, take out the floor. So you don't have to leave any part of the floor, not even the one under the spawner. Just make sure you don't actually accidentally dig the spawner up. So, you're just going to take out the floor here. 
and uh, you were gonna want to do this for three blocks down. So that was one block. This is uh, two blocks right here. And one more block down. God, coal always getting in the way. Hopefully our pick won't break. That would just be terrible. Alright. So, now that we got it, dug three, three down. Hold on. These are the last two rows here. Alright. So, now we have three down. That was the original floor. One, two, three. Alright. Um... You want to, you're going to want to designate an area for where you want your collection to be. So, um, if that's, I want the collection to be over here, I guess. So, um, or over, um, somewhere we can easily access. So, right here. All right, so there's our, we're going to designate this area over there for a uh, collection. So, what you're going to want to do now is, um, you're going to want to go to, Ah, there's an area here. All right, block that off. You're gonna wanna just come here and uh, whichever direction, since we want our collection to be that way, we just uh, we're gonna dig this way, and um and we're gonna dig two blocks in. Oh my God, why does the phone keep ringing? All right, so there we go. We got an area two blocks in the way of our collection. Now we're going to want to move two blocks down. So, oh, I'll be right back. Alright, so sorry about all these interruptions. So, how we just dig two, how we just dug two in, now you're going to want to dig two down where you just dug two in. So, uh, just, if you didn't get what I just said there, it was kind of confusing, just uh, rewind the video and pay attention. So, there we go. So this is going to be our water ledge. No need to make the dungeon noise. I'm in the dungeon. All right. Now you're going to want to move this way four blocks. So we went. This is our. Uh, this is one. This is two. So we got two here. This is three. And this run right here is four. All right. Oh, and uh, some quick news about the outdoors world and outdoors, not outdoors in real life, outdoors as in Minecraft. Uh, the sapling that we planted on the dirt penis has grown. So, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. So, uh, just gonna block that off here. Place the torch down so nothing spawns. Alright, so we got that now. We moved four back. Now, here we're gonna wanna make an observation deck. So, we're gonna wanna do, um, to do that, on the last one, you're just gonna wanna go like that. So you got this, yeah, and then just, uh, I can't really explain th this, so just um, follow what I'm doing. Sorry, I, I just can't explain it. And uh, this episode is coming to a close about in a minute, so I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, tomorrow's episode will be another Haven Map episode, and the episode after that will be a part two of building this. So um, if this helped you guys out or you just enjoyed the episode, please drop a like. And uh, yeah, that seems good. We're going to work to the end of the episode here. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, this seems good for collection, four back. I just kind of want to get rid of this ceiling here so we got some headspace. So we're not feeling claustrophobic while we're watching uh, these zombies drown. So yeah. Alright, and now you're going to want to keep two ladders, one right there and one right there, and uh, this episode's coming to a close, thank you guys for watching.